All right, so first major trip since back from Alaska. I am heading to Tennessee today. Um, there's actually a hurricane headed straight for Florida. Um, it's crazy because, of course, the way back from Alaska, I was battling a little bit of a hurricane aftermath, and today I'm leaving during a hurricane for the next adventure. But I'm heading to Teleco Plains in Tennessee for the Pan Am trail jam <laughs> so i'm kind of excited it's going to be their first event it probably is going to be incredibly wet um since i guess i'm taking the hurricane up to them and i'm gonna see how it goes hopefully i don't float away Set her up on that <clears throat> Check out Indigo Moto. Ah! Ride a motorcycle with me. Like, it's just been sprinkling pretty much the entire time. Um, enough that I don't really want to ride my cruise control, but not, not bad enough that I'm, like, worried about vision or, like, too much water on the road or people driving stupid because apparently when it rains, a lot of places, you know, people forget how to drive. But as of right now, it's, um, it's just going. Needed caffeine. But see how it goes. All right, so... I'm slightly south of Atlanta and it's really raining now. So as much as I hate Atlanta, I think I'm gonna hate it more today. But after that, it looks like it's actually cleared up quite a bit. So we'll see how it goes. But after right now, kind of, kind of driving this off a little bit, but that's what an adventure is, right? Okay, so I'm guessing this is it. Um. It only took me way longer than it should have with this rain, but I guess at least as long as I'm here in one piece, so. Clearly, I can see where I'm supposed to be going. Um, this property is kind of cute though. I'm definitely in the right place. There's the sponsor's trailer, at least. And Mucky. Very mucky. Yep, that's okay, dude. I will. I'll come over. Yeah, I'm definitely in the right place. There's already people flagging me down, so that's cool. I guess I get a park under this building here. That's cool. Yeah. All right, I'm coming, man. I'm coming. Okay, I can go around the other side. All right, well, I made it. This is it.
kind of road jet there. They were rough on you. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I am super nervous going on this ride with these guys. Um, they said it's intermediate, and I'm really fucking not intermediate. Um, in any way, shape, or form when it comes to dirt or trails or anything. Like, TMMR um, was a freaking challenge. I was exhausted by the time we were actually done with it. So, super intimidated. For the love of God, the universe, please. Don't let me make a fool of myself on this. Um, especially during a freaking hurricane, guys. It is still really, really gross. And I'm already falling behind. Slow. Come on, catch up. But yeah, let's see how this goes. I am really nervous. at all these pans together oh my god this is so much fun just to see this many of them riding as a group and they all look a little different and I think that that's awesome Hi. Yep. excuse me thank you but I really like this this was this was kind of fun let's go see this view Well, the... Uh, those are better than scorchers. The, the, the stock scorchers? Yeah. The stock yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> yeah, those, those are, are way better than stock scorchers. Oh, 100%. Yeah. And the only reason I did that, I was like...
Um, so actually this really wasn't as hard of a ride as I kind of thought it was going to be. I mean, I guess I still had in my mind that it was going to be like TMMR's trail, not a bunch of like forest service roads just post hurricane. And thankfully it seems like they just took an easier route than I guess it sounded like they were expecting to, but it was fun and we made it back. Yeah, still soggy. Here we are. So excited to go see what they do for the rest of the evening. All right, so it's time for this trials competition. I don't really know what to expect, but let's go see what they got. Second rider. He's off in the creek. Second rider is going to be zero, zero, three, Hans. He's going up the creek. So far, I haven't seen it there. I may have missed one. He's out. He's made it out of All right.
So, the Pan Am Trail Jam is coming to an end. I've just had breakfast with the guys and heading out. Um, hopefully the weather and roads conditions will be all right on the way home. But quite honestly, I have no fucking clue what I'm in for. Um, it seems like most of it's really terrible still east with everything being closed in North Carolina, but most of my Florida routes should be good. So we'll see what Georgia holds. like noon. I actually just made it through Atlanta with almost no traffic, which like never happens. Uh, I mean, I might be just lucky because it's right after a storm and it's a Sunday, but um, I actually got blue skies for the first time. Like, so it's pretty cool. Um, hopefully we'll make it home by dinner time. I did make it home last night um, after the Pan Am Trail Jam in Teleco Plains. Um, most of the trip home was actually pretty easy. It, thankfully, a lot of people weren't really on the road. Um, and until I got to about Valdosta area, Valdosta to Lake City, you can tell that there was a major hurricane that went through there. Uh, a lot of trees down, billboards completely all over the ground. Um, I definitely saw a couple flipped RVs damaged roofs, shingles, uh, you know, you name it. That's just kind of what a hurricane does. So um, that was just South Georgia and into Florida. So I know the Tampa Bay and all that coastline and the Gulf is not very well off. And same thing, of course, with most of um, Western North Carolina being all flooding. Uh, just, I mean, Chimney Rock's gone, like, and Asheville's pretty cut off, so. Keeping that in mind, I'm really thankful that I got to check out uh, this event. I really am looking forward to what they do next year. Again, um, even if you're not a hardcore dirt person, there is so much wonderful riding uh, in 
Tennessee and into North Carolina. So keep it in mind that even if this might not be, you know, you're not a hardcore dirt trail kind of person, push yourself. Like there's probably a couple of those, those trails you could do. Um, I'm coming in as a real novice to all of this. I mean, I don't think the, the gravel roads that I've been on are really to that level. And, um, you know, there's plenty of things that I, I don't really feel like I struggled. I mean, I'm a slow rider, mind you, but um, I can keep up enough with these guys and I very much enjoyed my weekend. So check out the Pan Am Trail Jam. It's such a mouthful. Pan Am Trail Jam um, next year and let's see how it goes.